Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I am Kelly Stewart, joined today by Brian Leonard at B Leonard Sports on Twitter. Make sure you guys give him a follow. Brian, let's get into this. Michigan State laying a big number week one versus kind of a scrappy Utah State Aggies team. Both teams return quite a few starters on both sides of the ball. Uh, total 50 and a half is interesting to me. I know a lot of betters like to look towards those Big Ten unders, but I think this one might surprise a few people. Talk to me about what you're looking at first of all in this game. Yeah, you talked about the returning starters, Utah State 18, Michigan State 19. How often do you see that? Um, in the case of Utah State, 18 starters on a team that went 6 and 7, but in actuality they outscored the opposition by 3.3 points a game last year. Michigan State was 10 and 3, and they only outscored the opposition by 4.4. Now obviously, a Big Ten schedule is going to be a lot tougher than what Utah State sees out in the Mountain West. But this is a team in Utah State that could put some points on the board. I do have some concerns about their defense. They're very young on the defensive side. One of the things I'd like to take a look at early in the season is I try to put myself in the position of the players and the coaches. And I take a look at what the early season, what they're going to be playing soon. And after this game, Utah State has non-conference opponents, New Mexico State and Tennessee Tech. So if you're a Utah State player, this is the big game you want to point towards. I mean, you're obviously beating a team, and we've all seen it already, Michigan State right now. Everybody's loving Michigan State. That's the team that everybody's taking as a long shot to actually make it to the Final Four. It's a big game for Utah State. I think they come to play in this one. Awesome. Yeah, like you said, uh, Michigan State plays Arizona State next. Not necessarily a powerhouse school, but is it more of a look-ahead spot and that's exactly what you're getting at here. In regards to the total, I know you mentioned that you had some concerns about the Utah State defense. Are you looking at betting either side of this total? If I was to play the total, I'd play it over. And you talked about the going to Arizona State. Actually, uh, Big Ten teams never travel west. And when they do, I usually like to bet against them. Uh, last time they, Arizona State won was 2014. They lost by 19 at Oregon. So you have a team that doesn't travel west very often, gets that chance next week, and then the following week they have a bye. So Michigan State right now is a team that everybody's up on, and I'm sure they're reading the press clippings. And I like to go against those type of teams, but I like Utah State in this game. I only made it 21 and a half, but I'm going to wait. Right now it's at 23 and a half because I think once the public gets involved, hey, this is that team that's supposed to be really good this year. I think we might catch 24 and a half by game time, and that's when I jump on the Aggies. I love it. Good stuff from Brian Leonard. Each and every Monday, get daily pick packages for just $9. This includes any 5% best bets that are normally priced at $30.